how high? Um, I think my oil net's changing. Not sure. Do you think you can help me? We're going to be jacking up the front so we can work under the engine. So we pull the handbrake on pretty tight, so that stops the rear wheels rolling. And we're going to be using the sills on the side of the car to actually lift it uh, about as far forward as possible underneath the front doors. So we put the jack into approximate position and what we want to do at this point is make sure that there's enough room left in front of the jack to insert the actual stand once the car itself is jacked up. So simply jack the car up as high as you need it using the jack and then once you've got it as high as you want put the axle stand in position and then lower it down onto it. And then you do the same with the other side. Make sure you always do both sides the same height so nothing's out of balance. Okay, you will need a Ford Focus, you will need new oil, 4 or 5 litres, you will need a replacement filter, you will need an oil tray to catch all the old oil. You might need an oil filter wrench, although possibly not in this video, we're just going to do it with uh, by hand. The correct oil spec is 5W30 semi-synthetic. You can use full synthetic if you want, if it's not much more expensive. And obviously you need a replacement oil filter. Um, this is a Mali, it doesn't really matter what the brand is, just get something that's half decent and you're going to be good. Okay, so it's business time. Now this is the um, oil sump on the uh, 2 litre ZTEC Ford Focus engine. This is on the right hand side of the car. And this is the oil drain plug on the, at the rear of the sump. And if you go back further and then up on the rear of the engine you can see the uh, oil filter. It's actually up quite high. Okay, the first stage is to drain the old oil from the engine. So we're going to put the oil tray in place underneath the sump. Um, and then we're going to get under the car with our socket wrench and uh, remove the drain plug. Now you need either a 13 or a 15 millimeter socket wrench head depending on your car. That is metric. The Ford Focus is a European car so you Americans really need a, um, a metric socket set. Uh, you can try using their imperial equivalents, for example, half inch is about the same as 13 millimeters, but uh, it's not going to be exactly right, so you need to be really careful not to do any damage to the bolt head if you're going to try that. So anyway, get the um, get the drain plug off, the oil's obviously going to come out. Um, by the way, at this point, it would be ideal if the oil was a little bit warm because it's just going to drain from the engine that much better and you'll get you know that last little bit out whereas if it's completely cold um, you, 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 you won't get quite as much out. So once it's draining get out from under the car and open the bonnet and um, remove the oil fill cap from the top of the engine and then you just need to wait until it's finished draining. Uh, once it's mostly done get under the car and just put the, um, the drain plug back in just finger tight we just want to stop it dripping all over us while we remove the filter which is the next stage so we need to get up in there um, I was able to do it by hand on this car it wasn't done up particularly tight which is nice as you start unscrewing it it's going to start draining oil out of the filter itself it's unfortunate where it's placed it's, it makes a real mess because you get oil all down the back of the engine but there's nothing for it, you just have to do it, take it out. And once you've done that, um, take out the drain plug again. And then just let the whole thing sit there for a little while, maybe half an hour until it's uh, mostly done dripping. So once you're happy that not much more oil is going to be coming out, then get back under the car and put the drain plug back in. I uh, didn't do it up tight this time. Not too tight, you do not want to over tighten it, but um, tight enough that uh, no oil is going to be coming out. Then we need to put the new filter in. Um, what we're going to do is take some of the new oil, put it on your finger, and just run it around the seal of the new cartridge filter. That's going to help that seal uh, make a good seal and you know, prevent any leaks. And then we're ready to go ahead and put the new filter on the engine. Uh, just go ahead and uh, sli slide it up into position. 
and um, do it up. The thread is on that little spindle in the center. You know, make very sure that you do not cross the threads or um, do any damage to anything at this point. It's worth taking your time. You don't want to damage anything. Uh, once it's um, correctly on the threads, it should be very easy to do up. It'll just spin itself into place. And to tighten it, do not use a tool. Don't use a uh, filter wrench, even if you had to use one to get the old one off. You should just be able to um, tighten it up by hand. But once you've got the drain plug and the new filter back in place, just take some newspaper or a rag or something and just clean up the old oil that um, made a bit of a mess when you drained it. The reason you really want to do that is it, um, you want to be able to see any leaks if they're happening after you've put the new oil in. And if you've got old oil everywhere, it's going to make it really hard to see what's happening. So at this point, we're finally ready to put the new oil in. Um, using a funnel makes it easy. Uh, the capacity of the engine is about four and a quarter or four and a half liters. This is a five liter container of oil, so we ended up with a little bit spare, which is uh, always nice. You, so you want the, um, the oil level to be up to about the high point on the dipstick. So pull the dipstick out, give it a clean, put it back in pull it out again, have a look at it, that's your level, you want it up to the high point, don't overfill it, job done. So put the oil fill cap back on, start the engine, check that the oil pressure warning light goes out, it doesn't stay on. Turn the engine off get back under the car and have a look for any leaks just make sure that there's no oil coming out where it shouldn't be and then you really are done the final step you need to do is take the old oil and dispose of it correctly uh, the best thing to do is to take it to an oil recycling center usually there are bins outside auto stores um, which is the easy thing to do